sort my life out and my work schedule keeps switching up all the time. So like the days that I have off change all the time. Um, but I think starting next week, I'm going to have three days off in a row. Three, three, three. So that'll be nice. And I'm going to try to get my filming game back on during those three days. So for today's video, we're going to be doing a product empties slash products that are almost gone, but that I'm planning on repurchasing kind of video. And I've seen some of my friends do these kinds of videos recently. I think Lullaby Leah did one. Um, I'm sure Krista Asabar has done one, and then Lori Latte also. Um, so yeah, that is the plan. I like hunched over really bad today, but I want to be up close, up close, and try to do that kind of So, I also brought this hat. Should I wear this hat?
hard. They're, they just seem kind of disrespectful and kind of a little rednecky. No offense.
senses. It says on the bottle, reproduction of familiar scents and moments of varying locations and periods. So it's inspired by like, there's like a fireside camp kind of one. There's a, um, a one called Beach, Beach Walk or Boardwalk or something like that. My mom really likes that one. There's like a coffee related one, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I like Jazz Club the best out of all of them for my body chemistry because it has this very like alluring, sensual, like sexy kind of scent to it. And this is actually unisex. It has like, uh, what are the notes? I'm not gonna remember, so y'all might wanna Google it. But I know there's like pink pepper, pink pepper, pink pepper, vanilla, I'm pretty sure. Um, like the boozy scent is some kind of liquor, liqueur. Um, they say it smells like leather and bar stools and like, um, it doesn't really smell like that. They're just kind of painting the picture and the fantasy of it, but it is just extremely sensual, masculine and sensual, and it wears so well on the body. I've never smelled a fragrance like this before. And honestly, like, the longer you wear it, the better it smells. This is empty, so there's probably not going to be anything coming out, but... There's, like, a teeny tiny bit left. It's kind of like a golden color. If you have the chance to go smell this, I really recommend it. Smell it in the bottle, but then if you wear it on your body, on, like, the pulse points, the points of your body that get, like, a little warmer and, like... You know, they tell you to wear fragrances there. It smells delicious. I honestly like the second I put it on. I don't necessarily like live, die, breathe for it because it does smell really masculine at first, but I prefer it whenever it kind of melts into the skin a little bit more and you start to heat up and walk around and do things. It just radiates this like cozy, snuggly warmth and it's so good. So good. allergies will not quit. Okay, so that is the parfum, parfum. Okay, next is, we'll go through these quickly because these look janky. That looks disgusting because it is so worn off. I've used this as like a refill bottle for like a year or two now. Um, but this is from the brand Silganic, which is like an organic, USDA certified organic, pure, 100% pure and natural jojoba oil. Jojoba. Jojoba oil. Now, this is what I used as a body moisturizer before I came across these Buff City Soap things. This, of course, doesn't have any scent in it because it's just straight up pure cold pressed. Um, it says cold pressed and unrefined, chemical free, lightweight, fast absorbing for hair, face, for hair, face, and body, for all hair and skin types, cruelty-free vegan, so it's amazing. It does have, like, a natural smell to it. Sometimes it smells like, hang on, look, look at the dropper, look at the dropper, can you see, can you see? I feel like it's so luxurious to have, like, a glass dropper. along the 
same lines. This is the same brand, Silganic, but this is the Rose Hip Oil. Rose Hip Oil, and this is amazing for the face. This, for me, I feel like reduced redness, kind of calmed, 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 calmed my skin down. Um, I thought it was going to give kind of like rose water energy, and I think it did that, but it's definitely thicker, of course, than rose water because it's rose hip oil. Very moisturizing, very amazing. It's definitely a little bit thicker. Well, I think it just got older in the bottle, so now it's like really thick, but it has a different feel than jojoba oil. So I bought these in a set. It was these two. And then it had um, argan oil as well in a little package, but it was clear.
So... 